Welcome back everyone. Um, you may notice that I am doing another Star Trek video so soon because what it was I realised that there was an endeavour that involved um, storming the Spire Task Force operation and I thought ooh that would be a good opportunity to show that part off, that, that part of the mission off or operation off um, while at the same time showing off the Alliance Battlecruiser and I thought you know what uh, uh, I have been meaning to actually show that off I'd be meaning to actually say, you know, I will do um, a vid with that in. So I thought this would be a good opportunity. But as you can tell, um, this is the Alliance Battlecruiser. It's 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 like a mixture of both Federation and Klingon technology put together, or Klingon Federation technology at its finest. And what I basically added to this is the newish um, assimilated um, plasma dual beam banks and plasma beam banks away. It's mostly the um, assimilated um, um, plasma. Um, beams that I've been adding to it uh, and yes I've still got the um, other ones on there because they're part of a set this one is especially I know this one's not part of a set but I kept it because of its um, 360 motion and such um, but most of the weapons are the um, assimilated we weapons um, just except for the um, torpedo system and that beam system and that cannon system it's because um, I'm using it for the um, um, basically the rapid fire thing and such like that uh, I will say the Battlecruiser is not fully upgraded up 100%, but you know it's getting there slowly. But it is a nice, um, it is a nice ship, and it's a lot smaller than what people had imagined it to be. But you know, I think you know it's fair enough, you know, because it's fine. But um, I do like it regardless, and it is a nice, um, it is a nice ship. But um, I still say won't well, replace my favourite ships, obviously that I got in this, but it's still a nice ship to have. And I actually personally would say, if anybody was lucky to actually get this ship or even this ship, even, you know, I would say, like, like to those who took part in the events and such like that, uh, I would say, you know, well done, see to getting it. And to those who missed out on it, don't worry too much. You're not missing out on too much uh, that because you're guaranteed other opportunities of getting other ships that can look either way past cooler. Or even better than the ones I got and such. I'm not saying that these ships are not cool because they are cool. They are awesome. They look amazing, and I do love the look of them. I mean, as you can see, there's quite a few here. I mean, um, yeah. So I'm I'm, I'm just saying that uh, if you feel if you feel oh, oh man, I've missed out on that opportunity. And that, don't don't fret on it because you know there's plenty and plenty of other cool ships out there that they are willing to give away for free in the next events and such so you know just if you ever want to get a free ship you know take part in those if you want and such uh so don't feel disheartened because you ain't got this ship or that ship or that such, such, such yeah anyway um what am i gonna do oh yeah the spire one no i've already done that today so i don't need to do that uh or when this video comes out it'll probably be either a week later or the day after it depends when i'm gonna upload it i see what my schedule is uh, where the fuck is it? So I'm just trying to. Um, oh, I'm an idiot. So I'm brain went a bit ill uh, mode. There we go. I will say the ship is not 100% um, fast or anything like that, but it can be made faster, I believe by adding the right consoles to it but I don't plan to make this ship into a speed demon ship or anything like that like I have with my other character I plan to make it into a more of a I would say I plan to make it into more of a I'm not sure what I plan to make I think I plan to make it more into a 50-50 thing like a 50% tank 50% attacker or something I don't know I'll, I'll see what I plan to do with it see how it goes I mean, yeah, at the moment the shields are like for not about in um, like they're twenty fours and such on it. But however, the um, I do need to work on its um, tankiness as well. But I am trying, like I said, I am trying to do a fifty thing. And actually, I just realised this mission started quicker than expected. Sweet, man, I love these ships. I'm not going to lie, they look very cool, these ones are, and I'm glad someone else is using it. So it saves me actually having to show off one of them, because um, at least that way you can actually see in the video whenever it shows up and such, that it is a good ship to have. I mean, even this one that I've got is... I just love the fire that comes out of its engines and such, it's just so cool. 
even the little things that follow it and such. It's just so awesome. Yeah, anyway, I better actually keep myself at normal speed because otherwise my um, weapons um, damage will be lowered. Oh, here we go. Now I've got to say the um, assimilated weapons are very, very good to have. I love the effects of them. I mean, you can see that they're almost looking like they, look, they are beams, but they look like tractor beam type weapons if you look carefully enough. But they have more of a spread to them, like like um they instead of being like a long beam, they tend to like be more of a like a wide beam sort of thing. Almost like a ball trick to be. Ooh! No, that ship I definitely want. Yeah, there's a lot of ships I want in this game. What can I say? I'm a bit of a collector. You know what would be nice to add in this game? Is your own little um, space dock for yourself so you can actually view your ships. Almost like a museum in some way. Now that'd be awesome. So you could just admire them. I would say a space dock would be best. Maybe that could be another addition to the um, star bases and such. And speaking of fleet um, star bases, and that I've really got to work on mine because it's been a while since I've worked on mine, and I haven't really been doing too much in them. So I will get back to doing those because I. Uh, I've been saying to myself, oh, I will get this tier 3 by this time and that time, but I've been pretty much keeping myself occupied with other things and having fun in other areas and such. But, yeah, I will get round to doing them eventually. But there's no rush, because, you know, I'm not going to rush it and that. And, I'm not really spot for coming in that fast. I know they're tough, but I've never known them to be this fast in that. <laughs> but then again, they have been improving on this area. Oh yeah, there is one console that I do like about that the Alliance um, Festival does have, and that is the. Um, I, don't know, I will actually um, sh show it in a bit. And that is the um, aligned anti-potent shielding. Now, I would recommend if you got the anti-potent shielding, I recommend having those anti-potent weapons, and because that will boast. Well, not both. Boost up the um, attack um, damage on the um, anti-potent weapons best. But basically, it just creates um, an anti like an anti-potent shield, like so. And then all of a sudden, it releases uh, an anti-potent charge, like that. Quite a nice little thing to have. And it's very handy, but I would definitely, definitely recommend it if you've got an anti-potent build, like I have on my other character. So, I'm going to have to actually... Um, play the juggling act with my ships on that one. But either way, yeah, still a handy console to have and definitely quite a nice console. Especially for a freebie ship that you get. I mean, yes, you can get the opportunity to get these ships off uh, Mud's Market, but it will cost you um, a lot more um, zen than you would pay for a regular ship sometimes. It all depends. So I'm just trying to actually... Whoops. There you go. So I was just looking for the... Um, transport ships that are coming in, but... Um, oh, there it is. I'm going to deal with it. So I will get there. Bloody swarmers. Shit, I'm too late. That one's gonna. Yeah. That was my bad. I should have actually kept there. But however, no harm done because it's not a must that you have to do those and such, but it does. You know, it does help in your progress and such, but. Again, it's not a must. If you mess up on that, it's, it's no big deal. Oh, I'm on the target. There we go. 
Oh shit, I used the wrong one. Idiot. Like that. That. See what I mean about the, um, the assimilated beam? Did this remind me of the ball trapped beam that they used to, was used to hold the um, Enterprise? And I remember the um, when the Borg first came onto the screen, they were like the thing of nightmares and such. It's just like, Bruh! and the way Q described them is like neither he neither she, more like an it sort of thing. Even though he didn't say more like an it, but you know, that's how he's basically describing. Them. And they did look more scary back when. I'm hoping that they do actually. I know that they've been adding Borg a lot of times on this game, but I do hope that they add more on the Borg on this, because I like to see the Borg being more of a imposing threat more. And also, I like to see more of this of the um, Undine, or Species 8472, because those guys, I would love to see a lot more in. I'd love to see more about their, you know, Florida space, the home world, and such like that. There's a lot of, there's a lot of things that I would like to see. And you know what, I feel that there's a lot of things that this game can actually bring about in that. Obviously they have to go through all the copyright things and stuff like that naturally. But I feel that, you know, that they could actually pull off some things if they wanted to. But we'll see what they've got in plans for the future. I know they said on their thing that they've got such and such plans and so on and so on, but I don't always hold them to that because not everything always goes to plan but I am hopeful you know how things go and I'm not paying much attention Jesus Christ oh I just realized I should be repairing my ship's hull I didn't think about that There you are. I remember these guys used to be really tough, the um, Voth Bulwarks. I cannot think of saying it right. Uh, I remember that these Voth Dreadnoughts used to be quite tough and that, and how much of a pain in the butt they used to be. But now I'm like, yeah, I can deal with them and that. Even though, yes, it takes me a while and such like that, but still, you know. And plus it takes me even longer with this ship because, yes, the weapons are epic levels, but I'm still not 100% upgraded on it. Plus, I'm hoping that I'll take some more damage so that I can actually get the repair haul. There we go. The repair haul endeavor done, and looks like I've done that. Nice. Well, talk about hitting two birds with one stone. Doing this does. Um, doing this mission does. Um, I mean, doing this mission enables me to do the um, repair haul endeavor and the universal endeavor. So yeah, that makes me happy. Uh, I remember anti on technology used to be a pain in the butt, but now it's like, nah, I ain't gonna have to fear from that. I mean, I'll just basically give you guys a good old zap in and there you go. But then again, I have seen players use anti on technology and some of them can be quite pleased with it. But I know there's one particular player who um, I fought with in one of the PvE matches that you've seen on my channel and she can really go overkill with her destructors and such and it's like whoa but you know I do love a good challenge like that and I'm hoping to actually be just as good as her but I, at the same time I am hoping that I don't actually beat her because I like to keep with the challenge and such Right, over son.
Yeah, this mission does take quite a while. There we go. Still gotta say that ship looks pretty cool. It looks like a shape of a boat and such like that, but it still looks pretty awesome. And it definitely lives up to its dreadnought name. And this one lives up to its um, battle cruiser name. Although I still feel that having five weapons on the front for it is probably not exactly a good idea. I still reckon it should have had uh, like four weapons on the front and four at the back, but that's just me probably. Right, what's next? Oh yeah, the um, dealing with the um, of um, massive dreadnought thing. Now, that's one ship I wouldn't mind owning. When um, it actually do actually allow you to own that sort of ship, of course that'd be awesome to actually have one of those type of ships, the um, Citadel dreadnought, because those things are big and massive. Yeah, super slow, I can guarantee. But I wouldn't mind owning one of them because they'd be awesome. That's just me being a sucker for big things. Plus, I love the design of it, it just looks so awesome. I mean, it's so pretty and such. <laughs> I remember a long time ago how difficult this used to be and now it's like boom easy and it's not because of me it's because of the players on the end and such because um, I'm pretty sure if I was doing it by myself I would have struggled but the players alone uh, I mean, they are actually pretty tough as well because I can imagine that a lot of them have like these um, epic stuff and such and that they've gone for the full DPS and tank mode where the hell are the shuttles? I know there's some shuttles that's supposed to fly up, but where are they? Or am I missing out on something? Assuming... Oh, funny. I could have sworn there would have been shuttles. Or is this glitched out? I'll give you a moment. Oh, here they are. Gotta chase them. Well, luckily, there's a blockade going on there. <laughs> Especially with that one in the front. Oh, no. Oh. Come here, you little bastards. Oh, they've walked off. Gotta blow them up before they walk out. Not letting anyone escape. Well, try not to. I right, let them deal with them, and I try and do, cut the ones off that just come out. Bad. Usually, there's some that usually come out straight away. He's odd. Usually we do not, f um, you know, foul on that one. That is very odd. Hmm. Either that's my blooper or the game. I don't know. I think it might be my blooper there. But I don't know. But either way, we've done the mission either way. And you get what the mission is all about. And you've seen what this ship can do. And it's, uh, in my opinion, I think it's pretty awesome. And also you've got to see what the um, other Dreadnought can do as well. The one that you um, get f got for um, um, 2019's Christmas time. 
Blimey, talking about that seems so long time ago. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the um, video, people. And till next time, you'll you'll take it easy and peace out.